For the sumo squat, step your feet wide apart, much wider than your hips, with your feet turned out at about a 45 degree angle. Your exact foot positioning might be a little different than mine. Everybody's body is gonna be a little bit different, but find that wide stance that is comfortable for you. From here, drive your hips back as though you're sitting into an imaginary chair behind you and keep your knees pressed out. Inhale on the way down, and now drive your feet into the floor, exhale, and stand up tall. And repeat, drive your hips back, just as you would in a normal squat, and press up. Now when you add resistance, you can hold one dumbbell or kettlebell in front of your chest, like a goblet. You can hold a dumbbell or kettlebell, just one here, or you can hold two dumbbells or kettlebells here in front of your hips. If you're using dumbbells, this is a little bit awkward. I like to turn my palms forward, and then as I lower down, rotate into a neutral position with my arms, and then drive up, turn my palms forward to make room for my legs so those dumbbells don't get in the way.